exactly how to get out of knee pain. First thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna put our feet together. We're gonna turn our knees inward as we squat down, forcing internal rotation. As we hit the bottom, there might be some cracking, cracking on the way up. That means your knees are starting to become more free, starting to become more open. That's the best thing. That cracking is gonna take you from pain to gains. So keep on going in that. And from there, once we begin advancing, we can advance going on the balls of our feet, making sure we're pushing our knees as far forward as we can the whole time, even getting a little extra bit forward, trying to get crash, trying to get movement in all ranges, especially working on that internal rotation. Remember, anything can be taken too far to either side, but with our body, we're best off training in all ranges. If you look at people, if they lie flat on the ground, you'll notice their feet are gonna lay outward and forward. That's gonna have a translating effect on their body in many different ways. We're gonna to need to work on bringing our knees forward. That's gonna help with our ankle mobility. As we're coming down, we're actually focusing on the weight being on our actual quads and we're doing that by rotating inward. Most of the time in life, we, everything exists in a scale. And if we look at our life and where our upbringing is, we usually stay in one spot on that scale. We need to go in all different directions. In terms of our body, it means full external rotation, full internal rotation, as much as we can in all the ranges in between. This is gonna give our body the best ability, but we gotta make sure we're able to move pain-free. And if pain shows up, it means we're too far in either direction. And we gotta lead away from the pain and use the pain as our biggest asset in order to get to that next level of growth, strength, ability. It's super simple if we just listen to our body, going deeper, actually feel what's happening, slow down the movements, maybe lift less weight, maybe through less range. Remember, if you train a muscle through a certain range, it's still gonna gain strength in a range 15 degrees on either way, according to Charles Paul. So that means we can still do a chest press here and still get extra flexibility gains. Now, of course, on the training program, we do all different types of ranges. We have flexibility days, we have strength days, different ways to change it up and challenge your body. Every single day, so you're into that next level, you're mastering your discipline, you're becoming the best possible version of yourself through simple steps and bringing more conscious awareness into how we're actually moving every single day. It's super simple, but when we bring that energy inward, actually into the being of life, everything around you, you'll notice everything becomes more valuable. You become more valuable. Everything that you do becomes more precious, more sacred, more momentous, which is what we're here for in life, is to make the most out of it. Remember, you're blessed and act like it, move like it, be like it, every single moment of the day. Let's move.